What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and today we have a very special box opening for you guys. I think it's been requested quite a lot and that is the Duelist Genesis. Yes, this is an older box that I've been wanting to do a box opening on for quite a while. Uh, lately we haven't had the best luck though, so hopefully that will change with this box. I'm really hoping so. Uh, yeah, because uh, Lace of the Valiant, uh, the boxes weren't too kind to me. I don't know why. <laughs> but we'll get better luck with those hopefully too with like the deluxe editions. And uh, that probably won't be my only box openings of those too. Yes, I'm I'm not even going to stop after that. I, I don't know when to quit. <laughs> Never give up. Part of the cards, you know? Legacy of the Valiant will give me the awesome cards I want. Not always a bad thing to get a little bit of bad luck, because then, more than likely, you're due for some good luck. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> I could have said all that, and then we'll get nothing but, I don't know, just awful cards. I don't know. <laughs> we'll get nothing but rares, then. <laughs> Which hopefully doesn't happen. I believe everything is, you know, hadn't been tampered with on this box. I really hope everything's good. You never know with older boxes. That always makes me nervous. Handcuffs Dragon for a rare. That was a card that... I don't even know if I got even one of those out of the Nullist Genesis. And I bought so many packs of that set. As I think a lot of us did whenever Synchros first started coming out. Because we wanted all those new Synchro cards. Still glad that Star's Dragon was like a 10 as soon as this came out. That was really nice. Mind Master. Good rare card. Really like to get a Ghost Stardust, but it's not going to be like the whole searching for Black Rose Dragon kind of thing. <laughs> These boxes are a little bit more expensive than Crossroads. Alright, we have Yamito no Kami. Still surprised I can actually say that card. <laughs> So far, rares. Come on. Let's not do the whole rare thing like I said. Also, I believe this pack was the first one that had ghost rares, since we were kind of talking about ghost rares. Also came back with some spirit support, which is nice. Uh, fighting spirit. Uh, has some pretty cool... I'm trying to think of other art tats and stuff that were in this. Light Swords kind of came back in this set. As you can see, a few of them. There we go. Right, Defense Draw, and Unstable Evolution. Well, there we go. We finally got a Hollow, at least. <laughs> Super Rare. Always kind of like the artwork of it. I don't know why. I just thought it was kind of a, a cool card. Quip Spell card. Oh, yeah, Psychic Monsters came out in this set, too. I forgot about that. We don't see a whole lot to do with Psychic Monsters anymore. It's kind of a shame, really. I wonder if we'll ever get another new type as well. Maybe with this new series, we'll see some, some more changes. I kind of like that. Right, we had Graceful uh, Revival. Couldn't read it for some reason. My brain turned off for a second. It happens more than you think. <laughs> Let's get a Stardust Dragon. I at least want a Stardust. I don't care what rarity. Although Ghost is preferred, I guess, right? Mind Over Matter. Gear Town. Well, that's a good common. I forgot that was in this set. I sometimes do that. Forget, you know, a few cards in these older sets. Really hoping the hollows are on the other side of that box then. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nervous. Alright, we have uh, the selection, Noah's Ark. <laughs> kind of a cool card. I wonder if that will ever be a little bit more useful. Looks like that was a pretty good uh, rare card. Alright, let's see, we have Big Piece Golem. Not too bad. I believe, yeah, that's the one that's like Cyber Dragon, sort of. I think that's right. Golly. Oh, that's what I like about these openings, too. It's so nostalgic. You know, you remember a lot of these cards and played Yu-Gi-Oh! since forever. <laughs> that uh, a lot of these cards, you know, it's just kind of interesting to go back and see them. Desynchro. Oh, man. <laughs> no Wallace, except for one. Come on, we can do this. We can beat this bad luck. We, we gotta beat this bad luck. Come on. You guys believe in me. Cree buns. Right, we have Shield Warrior. Whoa, there we go. Okay, now we're focusing in. And uh, Light Sword and Saber. Well, you know, that is uh, hollow, so I'll take it. Not bad. I always like the artwork of it. Not really a very useful card, but still interesting artwork. Y you guys have never heard me say that, though, right? <laughs> I can't help it. I noticed that. I'm like one of the few people I feel like that notice artwork on cards. It's cool. A lot of, uh, they put a lot of work into that. Somebody's got to notice. Dark Resonator. 
And Red Dragon Archfiend. Synchro card. Very awesome. Red Dragon Archfiend is uh, probably my second favorite of Standard Dragon Stars. It's always been my favorite. Uh, at first, Red Dragon was my favorite, but I got where I was using stars like in everything. And uh, so yeah, I just kind of liked it more. But Red Dragon is so freaking awesome. It's one of my favorite synchro cards ever. Looks so nice. Ultra Rare. That was another one I was hoping to get. Let's see if we can get Stardust as well. Or Thought Ruler. That's another good one. I'm trying to think of... But I was in this set. All the different synchros. So, so far, we have two supers and an ultra. Maybe things are looking up. We can beat this. I told you. We got this. Mana Macabre. And... <laughs> Why, hello there again, Red Dragon Archfiend. <laughs> Ultimate rare. All right. We're going to get all the rarities of Red Dragon. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. That's freaking... You know, that's that's pretty much jackpot right there. That's really nice. I gotta say, Ultimate looks really cool. I like the old Ultimate, too. This just looks better than the newer stuff to me. Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy that says the older is better on that. Because it's not as flimsy. You know, like, the new Ultimate Rares seem like they could bend really easy. And also, I don't know, it just looks better. I always liked Ultimate Rares of certain cards anyway, because it looked like the evil version, sort of, because it's darker. So for Red Dragon, it really is fitting. Uh, grapple Blocker. Also, I like the feel of the older cards a little bit better. The paper, or it's the ink, or something. I know they changed that at some point. I forgot what pack it was. It might have been Dulce Revolution, I think. I don't know, something like that. Uh, let's see. Telekinetic Charging Cell. Sorry if I'm a little shaky, too. It's not that I'm actually shaking. It's that, well, it's freaking cold in here. So it's not like shaking like nervous. It's shaking because I'm freezing my butt off in Texas. You wouldn't think that'd be possible. <laughs> the Tricky. I forgot about this card being in here. Yeah, I remember being really excited about that because I'd always use it in the games. And it was never printed over here. Not bad. How many packs are in this? It seems like there's more than 24. Is it just me? Okay, it's just me. Let's say there's 24. I'm losing my mind, like I said. Alright, we have Trap of Darkness. I know certain boxes, not, I don't think Dual Genesis, but like older boxes, they had uh, 36 packs, I believe. Things like Labyrinth of Nightmare is one of them. A lot of the really old ones. I don't believe there was ever a version of that for Dual Genesis. But still, we'll have to get one of those sometime. Right, we have Cold Enchanter and Power Filter. There you go, the Ojamas. <laughs> I still like the Ojamas. I'd like it if we got a few, uh, some more support for them. Maybe some kind of Ojama XC? I don't know. They got kind of support, I guess, lately. With some of the cards coming out, like the Help Beast Monsters and stuff. Wish they'd work with uh, Obedient Schooled or something, but they don't. Fighting Spirit. You could summon all three of them with Obedient School. That Eljama Delta Hurricane would be so much cooler. It'd be a big threat now, because you get them all out and then boom. Two cards. Right. We have Graceful Revival and uh, Ki uh, <laughs> Kinka Bio. I think it's how you say it. <laughs> I'm trying to sound it out. I'm trying to say it right. It's one of my favorite spirit cards as well. It looks really nice. It's like a little cat and it's like a, the spirit, I guess, coming out of it. I don't know. It's like the shadow, I guess. Never really understood. Looks really awesome, though. Also, looks like the... I don't know if it, they meant to this or not, but it looks like the bunny or whatever from Kids Next Door. Has anyone ever noticed that? Maybe it's just me. Kind of miss that old show. I was happy the other day seeing was it Johnny Bravo was on, so... That was one of my favorites. That and Ed, Ed and Eddie were the shows I used to watch like crazy. See, Defense Draw and Upside Down Secret Rare! <laughs> Hand of the Six Samurai! <laughs> Even though it's reprinted now, Secret Rare looks really nice. Oh, let me flip these other cards around because it's going to bother me. There we go, Secret Rare. This was, I think, one of the ones I was really sought after when this uh, box came out. If I'm not mistaken. I remember because Six Samurais, of course, were destroying everyone. So freaking awesome! Jackpot on that one as well. Good Secret Rare. I'm trying to think of what Secret Rares were in this. I think, I think that was the main one, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to think of other secrets. I can't remember any other secrets. I'm going to have to look it up after all this. 
Oh, focus. Please focus. There we go. Sometimes it kind of has to think about it. All right, we have Mind Over Matter. Really do like the new camera, though. Even though sometimes it focuses, but I think it's kind of worth it because there is a boost in quality. So, yeah, you know. I think we're missing an Ultra Rare. If we can get an Ultra Rare, I think we're all good then. So I guess I can say this box was not tampered with. I'm happy about that. Right, we have Herald of Orange Light, which is a really good rare card from the set. One of the more sought-after ones. And Nitro Warrior. Nitro Warrior is Ultra. Okay, I couldn't tell through the camera. <laughs> that's my, it's probably my favorite of all the different warrior cards, and something that's always really bugged me about Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, great series, you know, it turned out to be really good and we didn't think it would be, but I always liked the warrior cards he used, they never, he kind of just stopped, like, halfway through the series, kind of like how Jaden stopped with the older Elemental Heroes, that always really known me, because I was hoping to see a lot of different Nitro-type cards, not, not just Nitro Warrior, but maybe a Nitro Archer, since there's Junk Archer, I don't know, but I was hoping for some more stuff, because I always thought they were really cool cards, so yeah, not a bad one to get either. Last pack. Can we get a hollow? I don't know. I think we got all the hollows we're supposed to, but let's see. Let's break the rules anyway. Let's get us a Ghost Stardust. Alright, and we have uh, uh, Izanami. And Magical Android. Well, okay, <laughs> there's our last hollow. Very nice. Good synchro card to get. Uh, this one's still very usable, of course. And, uh, yeah, it's a good synchro card to get. I remember being so happy I got, like, <laughs> I remember doing all kinds of pack openings for this. This was before, of course, Cyber Knight Channel, I believe. And I remember getting all these different packs and getting a Magical Android, Thought Ruler, and all kinds of stuff, too. So, yeah, it's really awesome to see these older cards. So, here we are. Here are all the cards we got. We have Magical Android, Nitro Warrior, Hand of the Six Samurai, Kikabayo, uh, Power Filter, Red Dragon Archfiend, and Red Dragon Archfiend. It's twins. Uh, Light Sworn Saber, and uh, Unstable Evolution. Not bad. I have no complaints. I wish we would have got a Stardust, but you know what? This ended up being a good box, I, I will say. Like I said, I think that was the Hot uh, Secret Rare to get back then. Of course, not anymore after the reprints and stuff. But I'm sure uh, people would like it that still when you use Six Samurais. As always, though, thank you for watching. Remember to come and subscribe. hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. And no, we will not <laughs> keep getting boxes of this set to try to get the Ghost Stardust like we're doing with uh, Black Rose. Although, it's, we're about due for another Crossroads box opening, aren't we? <laughs> Hopefully I find another cheap one. Usually they were about 30 bucks each, so I didn't really mind getting a box, you know, for that. I'll have to see if they're still pretty cheap. Uh, Amazon's where I used to get them. I'll have to check again. And uh, also tell me what other box opens you want to see, whether it's from 5Ds, Zell, whatever, GX, or the original series. Of course, if you can always find a link to a cheaper, you know, box that you want me to open, that's really helpful for me. You know, that way, not just tell me the opening you want to see, but actually send me a link. It helps me out a lot on that. And as always, thank you for watching. Remember to come right and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Also, let's hope our luck has changed now, because we did pretty well with this. Alright, later.